though it may be lagging slightly behind the West, China's Metaverse gold rush is picking up steam. And thanks for tuning in, I'm Holly Shields and this is Metaverse. By the end of 2021, 1,600 companies had applied for 11,000 trademarks featuring the Chinese word for Metaverse, Yuan Yuzhao. The mission is a well-funded one too. The period between September and November last year saw 6.4 billion yuan, that's 1 billion US dollars, poured into Chinese metaverse-related tech, including VR headsets and games. Now that's still nowhere near what the US has spent, as Zuckerberg's meta alone has invested 10 billion that same year, but it still doubled China's metaverse spending in 2020. The past year also saw some massive deals in the space, with the acquisition of the headset maker Pico by ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, rumored to be between 5 and 9 billion yuan. And as you might expect, share prices of the company shot up from the hype. Now, of course, the advent of the metaverse has also raised the question of the Chinese Communist Party's view of it. Does the idea of a virtual world without national boundaries terrify them, or is it a goldmine of data and surveillance opportunities? Either way, China's metaverse may be cryptoless, as it's no secret that they've come down hard on the digital currency. In recent years, the party has also started cracking down on teens and tech by imposing strict time restrictions on online games and encouraging tech companies to invest more in concepts that connect to real-world economies, like smart manufacturing. But actual comments on the metaverse by the CCP have been few and far in between. Although November saw state media cautioning investors against the wave of speculative hype. In October, though, an elite Chinese think tank associated with the country's Ministry of State Security issued a mixed message on the metaverse. While it was admitted to be the next gen of the internet, the speakers warned of the need for laws and regulations in dealing with issues that would come about, like virtual labor, for example, and economic crimes as well, so that no exploitation occurs in the gray area between the virtual world and the real one. Although not too long later, some Chinese cities have made more headway into the space. Last month, officials in Shanghai, Wuhan and Hefei announced the addition of metaverse development in their five-year plans. Meanwhile, the government of Zhejiang province held a metaverse industry development symposium in which speakers agreed that the province should be at the forefront of the new VR technology. Now, you might be wondering which Chinese companies are well positioned to take advantage of this boom. Well, Tencent is one of them. The social media and e-commerce giant is the world's number one publisher of games. Tencent owns a minority stake in Epic Games, the creators of Fortnite, which has been tipped as a possible vehicle for a metaverse. And then in December as well, another Chinese multinational tech giant has paved the way with the launch of Zhirang, the country's first ever metaverse platform. It didn't garner too much favor, however, as it was criticized for not offering a high-level immersive experience. So it's back to the drawing board for Baidu for this time being. And Alibaba is another player in the space. The company is aiming to launch AR glasses for real-world workplace activities in the metaverse through their workplace app DingTalk, which has a user base exceeding 500 million. All in all, over the past few years, Alibaba has invested more than 1 billion US dollars into AR and VR-related startups, so it's safe to say they're betting big on the metaverse. And it'll be interesting to see just how different China's take on the virtual world is when it comes to fruition later in the year. What are your thoughts on China's clean and potentially cryptoless metaverse? Let us know in the comments and tune in next time to get metaverse.